Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle for the win and welcome back to another Call of Duty video. Today we're back with another episode of my Sunday special. This is episode 15, actually, and today we are playing on the map Carbon. Hopefully we can do well, get ourselves to a good wave. Now, Carbon is actually one of those maps within Modern Warfare 3 that I actually like quite a bit. It's, I think it's one of the more underrated maps within the game, believe it or not. I don't know if that's a popular opinion or a very unpopular one. But I actually thoroughly enjoy playing on playing on Carbon. I, I've gotten many good gameplays on it in, on the multiplayer side of things. And overall, I think it's a really good map. So I'm actually very excited to play this for a couple of reasons. Number one, as I mentioned earlier, or actually just a second ago, it is one of my more favorite maps within Modern Warfare 3. But also, it has a lot of buildings in it. So it's going to be a pretty good pretty good map overall to get to a pretty good wave i think i actually think that there's like a relaxing end video that has the world record at like wave a hundred and something something like that it's crazy i actually watched a little bit of that video um not not too long ago but it was very very cool and again hopefully we can get ourselves to wave 30 the goal is wave 25 of course like always like it was in the last video but you know we're always going to be pushing for that round 30 and this is actually the last regular difficulty map, so the survival videos for the next couple of, well, for the rest of this survival part of this series, they're going to be a little bit more uh, shorter. They're going to be a little bit shorter. Um, and that, now that might not always be the case. Some maps could be really, really good for getting to high wave on. Like, I feel like, you know, the final map of this whole thing, which is, I think, downturn, has a million buildings in it, which is why it's one of the worst multiplayer maps in the game, but it could also be one of the best survival maps in the game. So, we will see. We will see how things go. But again, like always, like I always say in every single one of these videos, hopefully you guys are having an awesome weekend. Hopefully you guys are doing something that you enjoy. Uh, having, Hopefully you're having a chill day too. You know, the world doesn't have enough relaxing times as of late. So, hopefully you guys are taking some time with yourself, having a good day and you know getting ready for getting ready for the week now again gotta be wary of those dogs because they can they can end your game instantly and obviously we don't want our game to end instantly Ooh, i'm coming for you buddy i'm coming for you hello goodbye all right but i'm trying to figure out what area i want to hold down there's a few Potentials. Nice. Yes, let's go. Thank you. Okay, let's run away. And let's get that guy down. And that guy. And those guys as well. And there's three, three enemies left. Three enemies left. <clears throat> and then we're going to have a helicopter around here relatively shortly. Not for a while, though. Goodbye. And goodbye. Perfect. Okay, so the strategy that I'm going to go for has to be close to the equipment section. So I think our strategy is actually going to be over here. I'll show you guys here in a second. I'm going to go buy a weapon first. I think we're going to start off with the... I think we're going to start off with the CM9 here today. Because we unlock this at the very end. But real quick, I'm going to check what level we unlock the... Okay, level 46. We're actually pretty close to that. We won't be able to use it for, for a little while, though. Okay, boom. We'll go ahead and start with the CM901 for now. And then we'll probably buy ourselves an LMG shortly. So, I think our strategy is actually going to be right here. This seems like a really, really, really good place to hold down. And I actually... Now that I think about it, I've actually might have played this map before. On... I might have played this map before on the Xbox. I haven't played it on PC, but I think I might have played it on the Xbox. I'm not too sure on that, but I'm pretty sure I've played it on the Xbox. So I do have a little bit of experience. I also have watched a video on this map. And the strategy that the guy used was over there, so. Nice. Ah, oh, the CM901 is actually pretty solid. And that is wave once again. That is once again wave. Perfect. 
Okay, now I think I'll go ahead and buy my LMG with the L86. Boom. And can I put a red dot on it? Yes, I can. Okay, I know that was probably, that was very expensive, but trust me, it's worth it. Absolutely worth it. I'm not con too concerned with money right now. We are doing just fine, so. And, I mean, this LMG is so beastly that we just have to buy it. Come on. I see you over there. Beautiful. Okay, see you in one time. Okay, let's go ahead and run away. We'll probably actually play a couple of waves here. Because we... I want to save up my money a little bit. Perfect. And last guy. There we go. There's wave once again. Kind of speeding through this a little bit, but this is always how it is. We always speed through the first few waves. Okay, and on to the next one. We should have enough ammo to take out the choppers, I believe. Intel shows multiple enemy rotor wings but first, you have enemies. to focus on the infantry. I don't know if there's any dogs this time. I think it's just going to be infantry. Yeah, this map reminds me actually a lot of... Like, at least the survival strategy is very similar to... It's actually very similar to what we did on Underground. Kind of holding off a little building like this. So we're going to be outdoors a little bit more frequently than we were on Underground. Being that, you know... When we're just fighting regular enemies, I'll probably be... Come on. Yes. When we're fighting regular enemies, we'll probably be outside of this building, but... When we're fighting choppers, we will be in this building. And there we go. Once again, getting through the waves nice and easily here. But let's go ahead and head over and grab ourselves some more ammo, because we pretty need, we need that quite a bit right now. So buy some ammo, and then continue on here. Now, I think... Yes. Now, I think the... Now, we're going to start getting hard waves every three waves now, I believe. So... We're going to have to keep that in mind. We're going to have to keep the wave 9 in mind. But for now, we're okay. For now, we're good. But yeah, I mean, I don't know what it is about Carbon, but... Like, it's not one of those maps that everyone is always like in Modern Warfare 3. Like, oh my god, this was the best map ever made. It was so great. But, like, all things considered... I think that this map is actually pretty solid. Like, it's probably right in the middle of the Modern Warfare 3 maps. Like, if we're rating them from... From best to worst. Like, I would probably have to say that this is probably one of the better maps in the game. Well, actually, that's not true. It's probably in the top. It's definitely in the top 10, though, for sure. Which, I mean, I guess isn't saying much. <laughs> Being that there's only 16 maps in the game overall, but... Like, I can name plenty of maps that are better than it. Like... Like, Outpost is worse than this map. Uh, downturn is worse than this map. Uh, what else? Downturn is worse. Man, I don't, I don't have all the, the Modern Warfare 3 maps memorized in my head, but... You know, there's a lot of maps that are, are you know, better than this one, but there's this one's also better than quite a few. So, that is my opinion, though. So... I mean, obviously, is this map better than Hard Hat or Dome? No. Even Sea Town? No, not really, but. There we go. I mean, all things considered, there's really not that many bad maps in Modern Warfare 3. In fact, I always bash Downturn, but the reason I don't like Downturn is just because it's an ugly looking map. It's really not that good looking, and it, and it actually plays pretty horrendously, having, you know, thinking about it. Like, it's not a map that, you know, you'll do well on consistently. I have seen a few Moabs on it, but... But uh, you're not going to get very many. I mean, every time I play Downturn, it either gets voted out or I do horrible on it. So... Nice. And then there's one guy left. 
see, yep, that guy has the that guy has the explosives on him, so he's gonna be down and out nice and easily. So, all right, now we are going to have to prepare for a juggernaut round, I believe, if my mind, if my hunch is correct. But we should be fine because I think it's only gonna be one juggernaut in infantry, so I don't even think we need to buy all of our all of our flashbangs. So should be okay, should be okay. But we're going to find out right now. And yes, I was correct. This is just one juggernaut. See, I'm, I'm slowly memorizing these. Just, you know, memorizing the waves just to get thrown. Thrown into a different difficulty next or in two weeks. So, oh, well, such is life. Such is life. See ya. See ya. See ya. All right. LMG time. And that should be the last guy. Perfect. Just like that. All right. Let's let's go over to our equipment area. Okay. Get back inside. Flashbang. And wave. Beautiful. Perfect. Went that went absolutely perfectly couldn't have done it better myself and now let's go ahead and grab a perk i think we'll grab a perk now and it, you know i always go through this debate every single episode do i buy uh, stalker or do i buy steady aim i actually think mm, we'll buy stalker again just because i love stalker you know there is actually a small part of me that wishes you could buy multiple perks and equip multiple perks. I look at that care package. Excuse me, rude. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's run back this way. There's a part of me that wishes that you could actually buy multiple perks. The perk care package would just get more expensive, but unfortunately, the way that they designed this is that you can only have one perk at a time, which I don't really like that much, but you know, it is what it is. It, you know, this game is so old that you can't really complain too much about, about it. Especially when they created such a good survival mode within this game. I mean, it is so good. No no other survival mode even comes close to Modern Warfare 3's. I mean, I guess... I guess Advanced Warfare's wasn't horrible. But... You know, is it as good as Modern Warfare 3's? No, not even close. Not even close. Well, we all know what the worst one is. <laughs> Modern Warfare 2019's. I actually tried to play it, and I really thought I would enjoy it because, you know, modern setting, everything like that. But it was horrible. I I don't I don't know what they did to it, but the time to kill was just or time to die, I should say, was just way too fast. You basically died instantly, and it was really really annoying. So kind of unfortunate, but oh well, such is life. And when it comes to whether I'll play other games extinction or survival modes, I'm not really sure yet. Again, Modern Warfare 3 has so many maps in it. We're going to be playing all 16 of the base maps. And then we're going to be moving on to all 16 of the DLC maps. And you guys have seen that I've been doing this series since like January. So, so that's 32 weeks of content. Or that's 32 weeks of content divided by 2 because or times two because of my zombies videos. So basically we are playing, you know, we'll be playing Modern Warfare 3 Survival. We won't actually get done with Modern Warfare 3 Survival until like the middle of 2023. That just sounds crazy. But that, yeah, that's when we'll finish this, the survival mode. And zombies is even more crazy. Zombies is even more crazy. So, you know, there's even more maps than zombies. So, we're, we're going to be doing this series for a long time. Now, okay, let me buy this. And we'll go ahead and place it. Place one here. Actually, I think, I think we'll probably actually place two over here. So, yeah. And I think there's like 20... Oh crap. This is so bad. 
Run. Run, 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 run. I was not paying attention. What am I doing? Okay, let me quickly, quickly, quickly buy some ammo. There we go. And we can wrap around. We can wrap back around for... For flashbangs later. If we even need to. Which we might not even need to. And now it's just Juggernaut's left. Beautiful. I've actually never tried to beat a Juggernaut without flashbangs. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't go down. Don't, don't, go, don't go down. Going down on a wave like that is... Or going down on this wave in particular is the last thing you want to do. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now you have to be careful. <clears throat> now you have to be careful. Luckily... Luckily, the Riot Shield guy stays crouched for a long time. So he's basically, you can just easily, easily headshot him. Nice. There we go. Perfect. Well, disaster averted. That's the best thing, that's the best thing I can say. Disaster averted. Because that was very, very scary. All right. Let's go ahead and refill our ammo. And I think I'm going to actually switch away from the CM901 to an SMG. Uh, should we bring back the uh, old UMP? I think we should bring back the old UMP. And let me go ahead and uh, throw a grip on my uh, LMG real fast. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, let's 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 give the old UMP a go. This is my favorite SMG within Modern Warfare 3, so I, I would like to, to to use it for this video. Now I am kind of worried. See again in in the last video, my sentries kind of damage each other, which was not ideal. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This thing is so good. Absolutely amazing. I'm actually going to stand behind my sentries over here right now. Yeah, buddy. Who wants to challenge the wall? The wall of death. Come on. Oh, no. Grenade. Those can instantly down you. The, those are the second worst things than dogs. Oh no! Oh no, guys! What, what, what's what, what's going on? You you, you you can't get me? Okay. <laughs> now we'll go ahead and buy some claymores, and we actually let me refill my flashbangs just to have them. Okay. N. N is my flashbang button. Then we'll just... Wow, that was a weird claymore. And sure, we'll place them up here. Why not? I mean, we have two left. Just make it a little bit easier on my sentries. And now we're just... Now this is basically our corner. So wave 15 will have a special wave, so we have to keep that in mind. Enemy attack dogs near your position. Be advised, they are carrying explosives. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on, enemies? You, you you can't get to me, can you? This is so OP. I wonder if we can get... We might actually be able to get to wave 30 plus here. Uh oh. And that's wave already. That is wave already. That is insane. Okay, now let's run away from my sentries because we don't want them to. Actually, this is going to be a helicopter round, right? Pretty sure this is going to be a helicopter round. So let me. I'm going to move my sentries inside because I don't want them to get destroyed. 
by the helicopters. I could be wrong. This could be a three juggernaut round, and we have to get the hell out of dodge, but... Yes. Okay. I did predict it accurately. I'm actually move these closer. Out of the way of the window. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. And I got myself on my own freaking claymore. I was afraid of that, actually. Okay. I guess I didn't do a very good job at placing those sentries down. Run! Oh my gosh. What a stupid down that was. I do apologize. I knew that claymore was going to be a problem. I probably should have just destroyed it when I had the chance. But, oh well. No big deal. I had I had a hunch that that was going to become a problem, that sentry gun, or that claymore. I just didn't really know to what extent it was going to be a problem. Okay, get down here. And there we go, perfect. We have made it through the wave. Unfortunately though, our sentry gun got destroyed, which is a huge, huge bummer. But, you know, such is life. At least one of them was saved. Beautiful. There is the first Helma chopper down, and then now we have the second one, which is behind us. Hopefully we can actually take it out with the MP UMP. I don't know if it has enough ammo in it, but... Okay. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Alright, now we can move our sentries back out. Well, that one anyway. I, damn, I'm bummed. I'm bummed that we went down there, but again, the equipment section is right here, so we can just buy another self-revive and then another sentry. We actually do need some ammo, so I need to go run and grab that super, super, super fast. Actually, I don't think I can. Yeah, let me just grab all these MP5 ammos. The reason that we can't is because if, if I run over there to the ammo, they're going to spawn right here by me. So, don't want to, don't want them to do that, so. Okay. But if I stand right behind my sentries, it should be just fine for this wave. I'm hoping that my L86 doesn't despawn. Beautiful. Three guys left. And last guy down and out, please. Yes, awesome. All right, now we'll go grab some ammo. Hold on. Where's my UMP? Run, 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 as fast as we can. Get to the ammo. Okay, wave 18, which is going to be a juggernaut round, I believe. So we're, we're good for a little bit. We're good for a little bit of time. And when the juggernaut hap round happens, I'm just going to run away, try and run over there. If the enemy spawn behind my sentries, they spawn behind my sentries. But actually, now that I think about it, I don't think they'll actually spawn behind my sentries. Because I don't know if there's enough room for them to actually do that. So I, I think we should be okay. But uh, let's see how this wave goes. Wave 17, 3 away from, or 3 away from 20, 13 away from 30. Which again, getting wave 30, we should be able to do just fine. Oh, nice, we can wall bang him? I guess we're not really wall banging him, per se, but... Beautiful. Yes, man. It's just beautiful. This strategy works so well. Okay, I'm going to buy some body armor, and then I'm just going to get the hell out of dodge, because, again, it's going to be a juggernaut round now. So... Yes. Okay. Right, let me just get the hell out of here. And now we should be able to call in the juggernaut round. There we go. 
Please don't spawn behind by my sentries. Be advised, heavily armored ground forces are being mm -hmm. deployed by the enemy. Beautiful. Enemy attack dogs near your position. Be advised, they are carrying explosives. This is where the SMG comes in very handy. We're gonna be running all over the map like a madman. Get that out of here. Oh, nice try. Nice try, friend. Or, well, you're not my friend at all. You're my enemy. But nice try. Either way, nice try. It was a valiant effort. But, unfortunately, I have... Okay, that's a juggernaut. See a dog. Wouldn't want to be a... I love having E has my knife button. It's so nice. If you get into an emergency, you just use E and there you go. Okay. Now, that should be all the infantry. I think now we're just up down to juggernauts. Which I think is an accurate statement. Let's go ahead and get this guy flashed. See ya. Actually, never mind. There is an infantry guy. See ya. Now that's the last juggernaut. And we can take this guy over here by the ammo. And that's going to be wave. Just like that. I don't know why they why they have right shield juggernauts as the next difficulty i guess you know they can do a significant pretty significant amount of damage if they uh, shield bash you but other than that they really don't pose that much of a threat you know that you just have to be aware of how much damage the right shield can do so like they don't really bother me too much but you know i guess they have to make it a little bit more interesting the higher you lever higher you go up in the waves but yeah to me the to me, the little right shield juggernauts aren't really that that scary. Bombers, keep your All right, let's go ahead and stay over here. And I can literally play with one hand. Until I have to reload, I can play with one hand. Which I'm not right now, but... When I was taking a drink of... Ah, oh, damn it, my sensor gun destroyed itself. There we go. No oh, nice! That is wave, and we unlocked the AA-12. Don't think I'll be using that. Because the AA-12 has, like, no ammo. Okay, we'll go ahead and place this one. Mm, we'll place this one here. And this one here. And we... Okay, we have enough ammo for this wave, I'm thinking. There we go. Hopefully those aren't too close together to become an issue. Wow. Hello. Those guys should run into my claymores. And you know what? Something else that I wanted to mention is that the reason... I think the reason that we've gotten to... Round 30 on so many of the regular difficulty maps is because they are, they have so many, the hard waves are so frequent that when, that it just makes it the game a little bit easier, which is weird, because you think that it would make it more difficult, but it actually makes it easier, being being that, that being it that that's the case. Because, you know, those, those hard waves, the supposed, the supposed challenge waves, Okay, please be a juggernaut round. It should be. <clears throat> be advised, heavily mm -hmm. forces are being deployed by the enemy. Attack dogs outfitted with explosives. My hope came true. You keep your over. Hopefully they don't destroy my sentries. I kinda need those. My Claymore's got some guys. No! Please let me be revived. 
Freaking exploding barrels in Call of Duty. They will always screw you over. Okay, that is a another juggernaut. I envy you. Exploding barrels. Okay. So that guy alone and see ya. Run. I can hear him. I can't tell who's infantry and who's juggernaut. Okay, more juggernauts. We have to be careful here. We can easily, easily end our game if we're not careful. Okay, there we go. Now we're just down to juggernauts. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Come on, stick it out. There we go. Perfect. And that guy should be down and out now. Yep. Sure enough. And one guy left. One guy left. I mean, do we even need to... I don't even think we need to take him anywhere closer because we already are at a great spot anyway. Okay, run away. Don't want to die by that exploding barrel again. Because this time, if we die by an exploding barrel, we are done. For the entire game, so... And there we go. Wave. Perfect. Well, I mean, all of our... <coughs> pardon me. All of our downs have been kind of dumb. But, you know, welcome to... Welcome to this channel. Whenever I play multiplayer, most of my deaths are really dumb anyway, so... You know... Continuing it on with the survival gameplay, I guess. Okay, we're gonna buy the ACR again because I haven't used this thing in a while and the SMG, while it's good, hasn't really become very useful for us for a while now. So please, enemies don't spawn over here. I really hope they don't. We should be close enough now to where they won't, but yeah, perfect. All right, wave 22. On our way to 30, slowly but surely. What? Did my claymores do nothing? Oh no, get out of the way of my sentry. Oh crap, I didn't buy a self-revive. Okay. I have to be uber careful right now. Okay, we're buying it right now. I would rather my sentries get destroyed than die because we don't have a self-revive. But my sentries held their own. Beautiful work, sentries. I love you guys. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Okay, well, let's, let's get some more claymores here. My claymores did absolutely nothing there. That was not good. Not pretty. Okay, I don't think they can mantle through there, but just in case they can, we're just going to make this very uncomfortable for them to come up there. Okay, and we'll place another one here. So wave 25. No, wave 24. Yes, wave 24 will be a hard wave, but that's that's a little while from now, but that one will be a helicopter one, so I'm going to have to move my sentries to good, to good areas. I should also... I should also probably buy... body armor because okay sentry gun got destroyed now I'm kind of getting destroyed what again how do we go down there Oh my gosh. Hostiles neutralized. Rearm if you need to. Okay. You know what? I know why we've been, why we've been going down so frequently because we This is usually the point in the game where we start buying body armor every wave and I'm not doing that. So that definitely Oh, actually it's going to be a hard wave. I don't know why I bought that. Actually, you know what? 
it is a hard wave, so let's go ahead and throw these guys in here. At least I don't think it's a juggernaut round. It shouldn't be. Okay. Intel yep. Anybody spawn over here? Okay, we're good on ammo. Come on. You're all invited. Beautiful. Their dog flanking? No. Excuse me, that's my sentry. Spent a lot of money on that. Run. Wow. Okay. Please don't go down again. Jeez, man. Okay. Well, we made it through the wave. Wow, that is what you call threading the needle. That is what you call threading the needle. If I've ever seen it. See so, yep. Two more. Two more cent or two more helicopters to go. Nice, and one more, which we have plenty of ammo to take out. Throw the needle, and boom. There we go. Perfect. That is wave. That is wave. On to wave 25, which is my goal of the video, which is awesome. You know, it's been a little bit of a rough a, a rough playthrough. We've had a, quite a few dumb downs, but... Those explosives, those explosives, I tell you what. We've died by, I think we've only died by explosives. We've died by exploding barrel, we've died by a claymore, and we've died by a one of our grenade launcher sentries. So, some unfortunate downs to say the least, but, you know, Enemy it's alright. Luckily, I can buy self-revive. That helps so much when, it, when you're playing this game mode, is actually being able to have a self-revive. Crap, I hate, I hate these guys. Probably should have bought some claymores or some body armor. But it's alright, we can always do that. Here, next wave. That guy's screwed. I am spraying and praying. There we go. Can't wait until I get sleight of hand. Yes, perfect. Wow, imagine if that killed me. That would have been exactly my luck. <clears throat> okay, so again, wave 27, hard wave. Gotta keep that in mind, keep that in the back of back of our head. But we can move move right along. We have 30,000 points, $30,000. We can, we don't have to worry about anything for the rest of this game, honestly. We can just chill right here. Okay, again, one-handed survival playthrough. Beautiful. I mean, you know, I usually put sentries over there or some claymore back there, but. I mean, honestly, these guys are so screwed anyway. I just don't really see the point. Oh, crap. Grenade. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Thank you, clutch body armor. That grenade took away all of my body armor, but I would rather have... That's the whole point of buying it. Whole point. Put the gun offline. That's not going to keep me up at night because this should be... This is going to be a hard juggernaut round anyway, I believe. So, I'm actually not sure. I'm actually really not sure what type of round this is going to be. I can't remember. 27. Is 27? 27 is a juggernaut round. Yeah, 27 is a 3 juggernaut round, I remember now. Because I remember in the last playthrough, 
when we had the three juggernauts, we had the two sort of, you know, we had one of the normal juggernauts and then two of the, you know, six foot eight, uh, you know, n you know, Nikola Jokic size juggernauts who, you know, you know, can, you know, do a lot of damage. I mean, imagine, I mean, if any of you guys know NBA basketball, you know, imagine, you know, Nikola Jokic wearing wearing uh, juggernaut armor which by the way that would be something of nightmares seeing that guy in a seeing that guy in a juggernaut suit but you know that's basically what I think of when I see these big guys okay let's run away actually we need to get these dogs down now before we use our pred up. Okay, now we should be able to run all the way back here and use our pred. Because we are luckily way, way, way faster than everybody else. I'm gonna try and focus my pred on the enemies on enemies themselves. Let me get that on fire. And inbound. Okay. Um well that was a fail and a half. I don't know who we got with that. Okay, time to run through the middle. But I think when we got an infantry guy, that was a quite a, that was a huge base. I should have waited until I saw some juggernauts, and then we should have used it. Oh well. What are these guys over here? Okay, more infantry. What? This is Grenade Alley. Sorry, not sorry, enemies. Okay, let me buy another pred. Can okay, we have so much money at this point? It doesn't. It doesn't matter at all. Okay, those are juggernauts. Okay, we're gonna. I'm not. I'm only, I'm only going to use my predator missile on the juggernauts because we wasted it last time. Ideally, I wouldn't want to be wasteful. So. Okay. Another juggernaut. Jeez, man. Okay. Should I just drop this in? Wow. Wow. We killed the whole wave. Let's go. That is what you call beautiful. That was amazing. What a way to use our sentry guns or way to use that pred see the first one i was that's kind of the goal i was go thing i was going for but didn't quite work out that time though well let's just say those guys got absolutely destroyed and brought in again. And look how much money we have still we should get to round 30 no problem absolutely no problem here we just have to make sure that we don't at all costs avoid those dumb dumb downs that we've kind of had throughout the playthrough I mean, if you think about it, if explosives didn't exist, we would be flawless right now. Well, actually, we probably wouldn't be flawless, but we probably would have only died one time. Okay. ECR time, just for a little bit. Because it doesn't have much ammo. Actually, we should be able to get the rest of this wave down with... Mm -hmm. Sure enough. Sure enough. Yes, guys. This is so awesome. We are two waves away now. We are two, two waves away. Just need to get through this one, which is going to be another regular infantry round. And then we need to get through a hard wave at round 30. But again, at that point, around 30, if we die, we die. Doesn't really matter to me. So, we're doing well, though. We are doing well. <clears throat> I'm happy with this. Our, our survival videos have been been pretty awesome lately. Pretty awesome. We've been getting to very solid waves. Enemy troops incoming. Which makes me happy. The only the only difficulties that we've had with this series were the World at War zombie maps. Everything else has been kind of, been kind of smooth sailing. There 
we go. Let's get those guys down. Two more over there. Nice try, buddy. I don't think so. And there we go. Wave 30 guaranteed. Now it's wave 30. Hold on. Let me move these back in here. Because I can't remember what type of wave this is. Okay, this is either going to be a helicopter round or it's going to be a juggernaut. I can't remember. I know when they, I know when this, ha when they, the hard waves happen, okay, it is a helicopter round. Let me get rid of this. I do not want to die by that. Okay, there we go. Sorry, this building is off limits. To anybody that is not named Kyle and his community. This is my area. Oh god, run. Damn. You know, I mean, is it, at this point, is it even worth trying? Because, wow, what am I doing? Holy moly, that was terrible. I mean, at this point, is it, even, is it even worth trying to save my sentries? I mean... I really don't think it is worthwhile. What? Yeah, I see they both got destroyed, so... Kind of a waste. Kind of a waste, honestly. But... Crap. I'm trying to figure out where all these helicopters are. Okay, there's one right here. Run! What? Is this my aim or? Crap guys, we need to go get ammo. We don't have any ammo. Run. Ooh, the sentry gun didn't do any damage, hopefully. Yes, there we go. All right. We have gotten past wave 30. Awesome. 30 plus. Another 30 plus regular map. Again, I don't know if it's the equipment that we have or what it is, but I, I mean, I did mention it earlier in the video, but I think, you know, when we have all of the, when we have, you know, all of this equipment and stuff, or actually the frequency, there we go. I remember now. The frequency of... Difficult rounds actually makes this surprisingly easier. Because you know when it was, you know, a hard wave every five rounds or so. Those little gaps would be, have a lot more enemies. that guy and if for some reason we have to get out of here we could be in trouble is that seriously almost late already wow this map is amazing for survival I knew it was from the beginning I knew that this was going to be a great map for survival, and I turned it, turn, turned it, jeez, oh turned out to be correct on that, which is awesome. We'll just keep going. We'll just keep going. Wave 33 is going to be the next hard wave, which is going to be juggernauts. So I think it's going to flip flop. And that, and actually, now that I think about it, I wonder if this is going to start being a helicopter round at the end, or have a helicopter at the end of the round. I don't know. 
detected in your area. You will most certainly find out, though. You will most certainly find out. Wow. Well, as long as we don't die, that is. Oh, okay, time to get out of here. Uh, body armor. Time to get out of here, boys and girls. Our position has been blown. Let's move up to our backup building. Which just right now became our backup building. Run! Oh my gosh. Thank you for being an idiot and facing the run. Wow! This is a bad guy to go for. Come on, come on, come on. No! Damn. 32 because I was a dingus and I shot the wrong guy. That was my bad. Well, you know what, guys? That was still a good run. We made it to wave 30 plus, which is again the goal. I mean, the goal is wave 25, so the fact that we made it past there again is absolutely awesome and i'm very very happy that we managed to get past wave 32 past wave 30 and get into wave 32 but again kind of a dumb down there but you know, such is life and only a 51 minute playthrough a pretty a little bit of a shorter one than the last video but really quick before we jump into or before i go into the outro i wanted to just look at my rank for this map i don't think it's going to be very high because again it's all so hacked but wow four thousandth in the world not too bad all things considered being that probably the first thousand people are hackers so not too bad not too bad i also want to check c towns so i didn't check this one either Thirteen thousand. okay again it obviously as you guys can see from this c towns a little bit of an easier map but that is going to do it for the we have done all of the easy maps we have done all the regular maps and now we are moving to the hard maps so this is going to be a very very interesting uh, little little end here to the uh, survival maps here but uh, bootleg hard Bomb squads, Humor, experts, choppers, and riot steel juggernauts. I'm assuming that that the harder difficulty is just going to have a lot more frequent, uh, difficult rounds with juggernauts and stuff like that, and also have a more frequently, or have more frequent, or, jeez, I can't talk right now, have harder waves earlier. So like, for example, like wave one will be soldiers with mp5s instead of having shotguns so i'm not really sure but i'm definitely excited to play that but hopefully you guys enjoyed this next episode of my sunday special if you guys did enjoy the video a lot of you guys always appreciate it and we'll check out any of my other previous episodes of this series they'll all be linked down below plus in the description i will some previous episodes be at the end of the video as well next week we will be going back over to call of duty zombies playing on the map call of the dead which i'm actually very 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 excited to play we'll see you guys all on another call of duty video very very soon <laughs>